Hey everybody, this is Glider Cat, and it's time to play. Today we're going to start a Let's Play on a game called Project Astra Dominium. Now this is a kind of half factory builder, half tower defense, maybe 70-80% tower defense, and 30% factory builder. But let's, uh, let's jump in. It's got 92% positive reviews on Steam. I'll put links to the Discord and the Steam page and all that stuff in the description of this video. Um, but it's fully released, and again, it's got 92% positive reviews. Let's jump in. I'll grab this middle slot here. Oh boy. I guess we can read through this real quick. Welcome to Project Astro Dominium. Project Astro Dominium is a base building and automation tower defense mix. Playing tower defense levels, you gather resources and unlock new recipes, which you then use in the peaceful base mode to establish and expand a factory. So yeah, so there's a bit of factory building aspect of this that's kind of peaceful no enemies to worry about and then there's uh, tower defense which is all about enemies as the factory can produce various items like materials that you send back to earth or mighty equipment for your towers to defeat more difficult enemies get familiar with the basics of the game you should finish you should first finish all iro missions in the lower left of the screen as those will guide you through the most of the gameplay there's also a wiki uh, we've added many tool tips and if you found a bug, report it kind of thing. So let's uh, let's jump in. Boom. And here's our little kind of tutorial objectives. This IRO protocol. Get resources and experience. Gather resources on planet Trevis, Trevis 4. Uh, let's see. They're guiding us to the top right of the screen. This is where we enter the tower defense mode. So let's just jump in to that. Uh, this is the only planet we can select currently. Trevis 4. Small cold planet which our outposts moon orbits around. Okay, initial scans show a small amount of common resources like copper and iron. So here it's showing the different resources. As I understand it, we get the resources and we only get the resources. I'd be wrong on that, but we get the resources just from defeating our enemies in the tower defense mode. And they're showing the enemies currently on the planet. This light devourer, and it shows us the stats. And I think there's one more stone golem. Shows all the stats and what kind of loot they drop. So we got stone, copper, iron, and coal. What's the other guy? Same thing, stone, copper, iron, coal. Let's hit attack and jump in. Okay, in this mode you defend against multiple waves of enemies that try to attack your outpost. Uh, between, before each wave you can see a green indicator that shows the path the enemies will take. And then a whole bunch more to read. You can pause and read it. I'm not gonna read it. I think I've read it before, um, but it's fairly straightforward. So here they're showing us where the enemies are going to come in and how they're going to path through this map, at least for this first wave. Uh, there's six waves to kind of beat this planet, I guess. And we've got up in the top left, our health is 20. That will decrease as enemies make their way up to this little tower here. Almost looks like a little mining rig. And we've got 300 kind of credits to spend on our tower defense. Let's do it. I am going to, where do I want to start? Uh, let's put, let's put a gun tower. We're going to unlock more towers, obviously. Gun tower is the one we start with. How about one there? One there. Because eventually we're going to get enemies coming from this side too. It won't be this first wave. And these two slots can hit enemies coming from here or from over there. And then all these two can as well. Let's put gun tower there. I've got 75 more to spend. And that's it. So we've got four towers. Let's start the first wave. Boom. We can also speed up the waves here in the top right of the screen. Maybe we'll go at least two times. Here comes our little buddies. And they will be promptly taken out, I hope. <laughs> I hope. Uh, as they die, we're getting a slow accumulation of coins. Uh, let's see, for the second wave, looks like they're going to come the same way. Can't really upgrade anything or do anything, so let's let this run. There's no zoom in this mode. These towers are doing a pretty good job already. They do have a reload time once they run out of ammunition. We saw a little bit of that. 
So yeah, this is early, early game. Maybe I'll go four times speed so we can just get through this part. All right, I've got enough for an extra tower. They're gonna start coming from this side. Um, since the common path is fully protected, let's pop another turret down over here. And I don't believe there's any advantage to saving your money through these rounds. You may as well spend it. I think it resets every time you go to a new planet or you start a new battle. Okay, we've got our other enemies came through. They're a little bit stronger. Still looking good. Let it run. And as we're killing these guys off, you can kind of see in the top left, they are dropping ore and stone, copper, iron. Oh man, they're getting through here. Maybe I should slow it down. Okay, so we took one hit point. I'm going to slow it down to two times speed. Yeah, we're down one hit point. I think that'll reset after wave six as well. Uh, I've got 133 coins. So we can attack at least from one side. I think I'm actually going to go down here. Here and throw another turret. Start this wave, the last wave. Shouldn't be a problem. Yeah, these guys are a little bit stronger over here on the right, but they do move slower. Oh, they're coming down from below too. Um, I can put down another turret. I guess I will. Pretty good, actually. Awesome, look at that, victory. All right, let's uh, hit continue. So as a result of kind of making it through six waves, we unlock a bunch of new things. Railgun tower, claim that. Vulcan cannon tier, I think this is like an upgrade for some of our defensive towers. Same thing here, another upgrade. High explosive ammo, weapon barrel, targeting system, tower hydraulics, gunpowder, all right, and then here's our summary. This is the ore we got from our monsters. Copper, iron, stone, coal, and sulfur. Uh, this is by finishing that first, those first six rounds. Um, these are the rewards we get. We only get these one time. We can keep battling on this planet, but this set of rewards we only get once. So we got some ore. We got a resource, four common resource packages and a skill point that we can spend to upgrade. And this is just a summary of the battle. Back to base. All right, did you read all that on the screen? <laughs> that flashed pretty quick. All right, so now we're in the factory. We're in the factory mode here. So let's see, get the resources on planet. Okay, I'm just gonna do finish task on this one. It says, Iro protocol skill points. Use the tower armory to assign skill points to your towers. Each tower has its own skill tree and is reset separately. That's a typo on the it's. Resetting a skill tree gives you back all skill points invested in it, and skill points are shared between the different skill trees. Okay. So they're guiding us up here to the top right. Boom, we'll go into the skill tree. Uh, let's see, I guess they want us to do the belt feeder. We have two skill points to spend. I guess I'll click it, that's what they want us to do. Oh, and they're showing us that we can reset the skill tree at any time. So we click the bottom, bottom right, boom. Yes, we get our skill points back just for this tree. Um, and when I say just for this tree, it's this skill tree applies only to the gun tower. Over here on the top right, if I click, boom, this is the rail gun tower that we just unlocked. So we can do kind of the same things here. Do they want me to reset again? I'm gonna, uh, let's see, increase physical piercing damage on the rail gun tower. It's not the upgrade I really wanna do. I might not do that. Let's do, um, we get increased physical damage, increase the firing rate, reduce the reload time. Reload time's kind of slow. Um, increase the range. It shows us by how much here, 1%. And decrease the price. This is ridiculous. So it costs 150 for this tower. If I do this, <laughs> see what it will show you. Or no, I'm sorry, it costs 75 for this tower, uh, this gun tower. If I click this upgrade, let's just take a look at this. <laughs> now it's 74 coins. That's not much of a savings. Um, 
That's kind of ridiculous. So I'm not going to do that one. Maybe it'll come into play later. Let's do damage for both of those skill points that we have so far. We're going to get a bunch more skill points. And then this is kind of our factory. Um, I'll do finish task. Oh, man. Now they've given us some factory objectives. Automate iron ingot production. An automated production pipeline produces materials, equipment, and more. The automated production pipeline also doesn't stop producing while you attack another planet. So it's going to keep running, the factory will, in the background. Click on the crane icon in the upper right to enter the build mode. All right. Let's see. Let's do that. Build the base building up here in the top right. Um, there's a grid display. I don't think I need... Maybe I will use that grid display. It's not so bad. What's going to happen here? Well, let's just do it. We just start building something. We need to make smelt iron. So down here at the bottom right, there's a button here for our inventory. So if I click on that, it shows all the stuff that we have in inventory. There's some stuff here to build our factory out. This drone pod sender and drone pod requester. Um, this is a way of getting materials onto the fact, kind of the factory floor and getting them back into inventory. So the requester will bring things stuff onto the floor. The sender will send them back to our inventory. Um, we've got inserters. They're called grabbers here. We've got belts. They're called belts. Assemblers. A couple, few smelters. And we've got these drones. Drones are what's going to kind of bring things into and take things out of our factory. There's our raw resources at the top that we got as bonuses for completing that level. And um, as just enemy drops as we killed off enemies. Uh, they gave us some gunpowder. They gave us these cargo crates. They gave us some resource packages. These I'm not as familiar with, but we'll discover what they're all about. But we have, we start out with some things to build factories with. And we can manufacture more of these components, belts, and inserters and things on our own too. But I think they want us to smelt iron ore. So let's do it. Um, the pot bar at the bottom, I'm going to go drones and storage buildings. Let's see what's there. Okay. Yeah. Here's requester. So let's do a requester way over here. Boom. And I think, yeah, a little ship will come and drop that down for us. But then I want, what we want to do is smelt iron. That's their first little factory goal here. Let's find our factory smelter. I think we can just put you here. And it's showing where the robotic arms can be. Okay, there's that. And let's do our little, I'm going to call them inserters. That's these guys. So I'm going to grab a grabber and rotate it that way. And then once you're done smelting that iron, I want this to go on to a belt. And eventually I want that belt to feed into a sender this time, not an inserter. Oops, will you not place? Maybe that's too close. Oh no, there it goes. Show you what I'm thinking here. Um, the belts are a little weird as far as getting the direction right. There's that. There's that. I think that's going to work. We'll find out in a minute. Um, and then another grabber. And now i got to set the recipes on these guys. So for my, and they're giving us little hints that there's things that need to be established. So on the requester, I want you to bring me, let's start with the iron ore. And how many drones do I want to do it? Bring over. How about, we've got 12 drones. I'm going to say, give me two drones. Assign two drones to delivering iron into this requester building. And then I want to, once we have iron there in the requester building, I want it passed into this assembler and I want this, or a smelter, and I want this smelter to make iron ingots. So I'm just going to pick iron ingots and hit select. Close that, and then we can watch this stuff happen. There's our two drones that we assigned. They're delivering the raw iron into the storage. Inserter feeds it into the smelter. The smelter fires up. There goes the completed iron ingots. 
Looks like that belt is going to work the way I hoped. And into the sender. Now the sender needs drones too. Let's give this guy two drones. So one, two. We're down to eight free drones available. And we're doing it. We're smelting iron on our own. All right. In fact, look at this. Look at all these things we completed. <laughs> we completed. I didn't even look at this. We completed everything for this task. Let's go ahead and hit finish task. It was for automating iron ingots. I think we get a reward uh, for that. Let's see. Stats and equipment, iron protocol, build high explosive ammo tier one. Other planets will have tougher enemies and challenges for you. Besides spending skill points, you can also craft various equipment for your towers to improve their combat capabilities. High explosive ammo is a great start to improve your gun tower. All right. And they're showing us the slot where this is going to go. We'll see this in a minute. I'm going to kill that off for now. And I'm going to get out of the factory mode for a second. The factory's going to keep running. We're going to keep smelting iron. But over here at the top left, top right, sorry. If we go to this quest book, kind of the third icon over here. Let's click on that, even though these arrows pointing everywhere but there. There's a bunch of kind of little objectives here that we need to complete. Some are going to happen automatically by defeating enemies, for example. Right? As we defeat 250, we'll get some kind of little reward. We'll get one skill point, it looks like. And then those rewards, I guess, increase as we defeat more and more enemies. And there's combat missions. If we clear, if we do three more rounds on Trabus 4, the planet we just did our tower defense on, we'll get a reward. Like five skill points. That's actually kind of good. But then there's some other ones. So crafting manual. These are some objectives we can complete and they'll give us different rewards too. In this case, it looks like most of these crafting ones, the manual crafting ones are going to give us things for our factory. Let's do some of these craft and cut stone manually. Uh, by the way, down here, you can see we're working on the automation objective already. The iron ingots that we're smelting, they're going to count towards an objective. Let's do the crafting one, the man, some of these manual ones, if we can. They want us to craft 10 stone. So if I go into crafting, this is all the stuff we can build. There's equipment for the gun tower. There's materials. And then there's cut stone right here. So I'm going to select that. And we've got 53 raw stone sitting in an inventory. And it looks like, what is it? It takes three for every cut stone. So let's do 10 of those. And we'll just manually craft this. Just hit the button and you got to wait your time. And then those will craft. Um, while that's crafting, let's see what else they're showing us here. Oh, uh, they're pointing out they want us to make that um, high explosive upgrade for our gun tower. We'll see if we can if we have the resources to do that. In fact, we might do that next. Waiting for our cut stone. Okay, that's all done. Let's go back to the guidebook. You can see there's a little icon telling us something to look at. There it is. Craft 10 cut stone manually. We did it. Uh, let's claim the reward. That got us, I forgot, an extra drone and another smelter or something. Um, copper ingots. Let's do that one too. Copper ingots 10 manual. We might not be able to do the iron manual because we probably already automated that. All the raw iron. But let's do the copper one manual. Just get this knocked off the list. Copper ingots. Slide that over to 10. Hit the crap button. Wait your 20 seconds. And then they wanted us to make the high explosive ammo tier, right? That's this one. I can't see the recipe until this is completed. So we'll just wait the five seconds and I'll grab a sip of tea. Boom. That one's done. Let's claim our reward before I forget. Copper ingots. What do we get? Another drone and another smelter. We'll take it. And now we want to... Um, I want to check the objectives. Yeah, gear up. Produce and equip high explosive ammo. Okay, produce high explosive ammo tier one, manual or automated. We're going to do it manual. That's this guy. We need six iron, two copper, and five gun power, powder. We have everything we need. I guess we just click craft. 
Wait a minute, it says one. High explosives ammo that can be equipped by the gun tower. I'm not sure what this little one means. Um, and I'll show you why. So let's go over to our tower armory guy. Now I can click this slot. Now this says 45, so I have no, I don't, I don't know what these numbers are up here. Maybe it's obvious, but I don't know what it is. So I'll just click this guy. And it's showing kind of what benefit we get. We get an area of effect of plus four. I guess damage goes down or something by two. Area of effect by four. Okay, so if I hit equip, boom. I think that's gonna make this tower, gun tower, a bit more effective. And I, I just don't know if we're supposed to supply more ammunition to this thing or not. That is equipped and done. Let's see what it says for the objective. Yeah, we're, we finished that. Boom. You know, it says finish a quest. We've already done it. Finish a quest in your quest book. Yeah, we've done that. We did the manual crafting stuff, so I can just hit finish there. Send resources back to Earth. Okay, you can craft various resource packages and send them back to Earth. Doing so will be rewarded by the IRO with AI accelerators that can be spent on various upgrades for your factory to further improve your combat capabilities. So this looks like another kind of component that's gonna help us upgrade. Craft, for example, four common resource packages and send them to Earth and buy your first upgrade with the rewarded AI accelerator. All right, send resources to Earth and buy any upgrade. Okay, let's see what that's all about. Here, this little globe icon top right. They gave us four common resource packages um, just to start the game. And I think this is telling us we're going to get this as a reward. A common AI accelerator. And then later, as we supply better resources to Earth, they're going to give us more powerful AI accelerators that we can use for upgrades. But here we're going to get one. I, think, I don't know if this is selected. If I do send to Earth, I guess it would take anything we've got prepared and send it to Earth. So I'm going to click the button. Boom. Our resource packages are now gone. Our AI accelerator is now gone. Let's, um, they gave it to us. Now what do we do? Let's get out of here and go to Tower Armory. Can I, is this where I can buy my upgrades? Don't think so. I don't see anything. Let's go here. Send to Earth. Oh, here it is. Resource delivery, and then we got factory upgrades or combat upgrades up at the top of the screen. Okay, delivery resources, and then go shopping, basically. So factory upgrades, faster belt speed. Uh, I want combat upgrades so I can survive. And if I click on you, combat protocol increases the damage of all towers by 5%. Increases the health, adds a 10% chance per level to heal three after each wave. Oh, that's actually kind of powerful. Yeah, that's actually kind of nice, but I'm going to, I think I'm going to start with this guy. Buy this upgrade. It's going to increase the damage of all our towers by 5%. It'll kind of have a multiplying effect, right? As we have multiple towers on the battlefield. Increases the experience bonus of all beacons by a 10% flat per level. Sure. Buy that upgrade. Boom. So that mechanic's done. Yeah, there's a lot of different things going on in the game. Um, let's see what else we have. Want to check our little quest book here before we start battling again. Iron ingots we can't do because we're out of iron. Um, stone we've done. Copper ingots we've done. Craft two drone pod requesters. Let's see what's involved there. Drone pod requesters right here. It takes 20 cut stone. I've only got 10. Four iron ingots and two copper. So we just need 10 more cut stone. You know what we can do? Let's automate cut stone. Um, we could run it through this same factory and just change the recipes, but I think we're going to be getting more stone. So let's do... A little more factory building. This time we're going to do something very similar. Except we're going to deal with cut stone. I'm going to go request. I'm going to pop that guy right next to here. 
boom. And the reason I'm doing it right on this wall is this is where the drones go from the factory floor over to this kind of almost looks like a helicopter port thing um, to transfer resources. We'll see that in a second here. So I'll set that guy, make sure I got the right one selected. That one right there. I want you to bring me stone. So I'm going to select stone, even though it was pre-selected. And I'll assign two drones for that. We have eight left. See here how the drones are going right next door. So I imagine having these requesters and senders kind of along this wall. Could speed things up for us. And then the recipe is kind of the same thing or the factory design. We're just going to do a little grabber. Pull out of this one this time. Boom. I think we still run that through a smelter. Uh, we can delete these components at will. It's not going to cost us any resources and redesign the factory as much as we want. I think it's actually the smelter. Uh, let's see. Can we find the recipe for that? Let's just see if there if there is one. I click on cut stone to tell me. No, this is all manual crafting. Look. Just trying to see if I get cut stone. Whoops, the scroll speed's pretty fast. Apologize for that. Let's assume it's a smelter, and if it's not, we'll change it out. Boom. Or another grabber. We have six of those left. Boom. And I'm going to throw those on the same output belt. And set this guy, if possible, to cut stone. Yeah, it looks like the smelter will do that. Hit select to make sure the recipe takes. Now we're automating the cut stone. There it goes. It's going to go into the same drone pod sender just to save resources. We need 10 of that. I may handcraft a bit. Uh, let's see. Let's look at the objectives. Oh yeah, here's automation on the cut stone. So now we're starting to work off that objective. Maybe we let this run until it gets to 10. We need 10 more. So we can build our drone pod requester. Oh man, it's kind of slow. We need eight more. Let's do a few more cut stone ourselves just to speed things along. How about, oh, I can't. We may not have enough stone to pull it off. Or they're all in here. Um, I can't tell. There's additional settings here um, for the drone pod requester amount to keep in inventory. So if I wanted to leave some stone in inventory, I could say, well, always keep 10 stone in inventory. Don't bring it into the factory floor in case I want to do the handcrafting. But we'll let this run. Um, I see how much you have in inventory. He's got two more. Yeah, I think we need to go fight. I'm going to hit base upgrade, send resources to Earth by an upgrade. Let's finish that task. Okay, Iroh has analyzed the resources we have sent and found some anomalies in its structural behavior. Another typo there. Combined with the data from our initial contracts and combat transmissions, Iroh scientists believe that these aliens have the ability to modify their appearance and structural characteristics depending on the resources they consume. Iroh scientists believe that we can make use of this ability. They need data from a bigger specimen to confirm their suspicions. Extended bioscans show that a suitable specimen could be found on the planet Kasuna. Defeat it, and Ira will unlock the capabilities to modify our recipes. All right, before we do that, we have an objective down here somewhere. Uh, right here, defeat Trabus four times. Let's do three more loads of that, and I may time lapse this, but I'm just going to hit the battle key. I'm going to select Travis 4 again. Um, incidentally, if we wanted to change the difficulty, we can click on this beacon, beacon icon over here on the right. Boom. 
and increase the difficulty for more resources or reduce the difficulty for and you'll get less resources or you can just keep it at normal. I'm going to keep it at normal. I'll say use selected beacon. And I'm going to go basically do similar thing that we just that we just went through. I've got 300 points to spend. So I'm going to do the same pretty much the same thing we just did. 1 2 3 4 We'll start the wave. I'm going to speed up time four times to start the wave. Now, while these guys are getting fought off, up at the top of the screen here, if you want the waves to just automatically keep playing without hitting start, uh, I think you can select this auto start next waves button and that'll do it. I'm just going to let these go one at a time. Once we get up to 75, we know we're going to put some more turrets down. Kill all these guys off as best we can. Uh, we got 75. I'll drop a turret here. Just a regular gun tower turret. That's the one we upgraded, actually. Start wave four. The tougher enemy is off on the right here. Uh, they do drop more cash and more resources, I believe. So far, so good. Let's do the next wave. Okay, we got 75. I can drop another turret here. Start a wave. Drop another turret. Done. All right, victory. Hit continue. You can see the we don't get these rewards for this level because we already completed it before, but we do get a bunch of resources. 51 stone, 28 copper and iron, and some other things. Back to base. Uh, our drones kick into action because now we have more stone in inventory and more iron. Uh, we need to do copper too. Should we do that? Let's see that real quick. Oops, wrong one. Let's go. Actually, before we do that, I'll tell you what. Um, let's turn this guy. Oh, no. That's our sender. This is a requester. I want to change this guy over to copper. Boom. We'll change this recipe over to copper ingots and hit select. You might be able to guess why I'm doing that. We have an objective, I think, to handcraft some iron. Where is it? Yeah, right here, handcraft 10 iron ingots. Let's get that knocked off the list while we have iron in inventory. I'll pick iron ingots off from the left. Select 10. Ooh, I don't have enough resource to do it. I've got eight. Yeah, it takes three iron each. All right, so we'll let this this run, um, and we'll have to handcraft some more iron. Let's go look at press book again. So the battle, where's the battle stuff? Oh, looks like maybe one more time. So yeah, we only have to complete this three times. And we're one away from doing it. We're going to get five upgrade points. Incidentally, did we get any upgrade points? We did. We got an upgrade point just from completing that other round. Let's kick up the the um the damage with our t tower. And boom. And then I'm going to attack again. And kind of second verse or third verse, just like the first. I think this will be our last round of doing this. So gun tower, gun tower, gun tower, gun tower. These are a little bit stronger than last time because we got one upgrade. And we'll set the speed to four times. Let these guys run through. Getting more resources. We're getting some iron ore. Hopefully that'll be enough for us to... Uh, Complete that crafting objective, manual crafting of iron. Meanwhile, the factory is running in the background as we do this battle. 
third wave. Get ready to put a turret maybe over here this time. Boom. Whoops. Start a wave. Next turret, maybe down here. Wait till we get to 75 coins. Five. Then yeah, we'll get, I think, an upgrade point just from completing this battle. And then we're gonna get a bonus for doing three rounds of this. Oh boy, these guys almost made it through. Wave six. Uh, all our turrets are placed. Now if I click on a turret, if we get 150 coins, I can upgrade these turrets. If I mouse over, you'll see it extends the range of the turret when we do the upgrade. And it also increases the damage. So, okay, we completed that. We continue. Got a bunch more resources. Iron is kind of what we were after. Uh, no special rewards, because we've done this map before. And that's just the statistics. Back to base. Now, if we look at our quest book, Oh, we got a couple. Defeated 250 enemies. Let's claim that. That's good for a skill point. Take it. And if I scroll down, there's Trabus 4. We've completed three rounds, so I'll claim that for five extra points. We should have something like seven. Yeah, nice. All right, let's do some upgrades. Um, I'm kind of neglecting the railgun tower intentionally, but we'll... We'll make use of it, but I kind of want to upgrade these guys first. Um, let's take this up a bit. Six. Seven. Eight. And then I'm going to do one on the reload time. And one on the range to increase the range. So I'm just going to invest kind of heavily in our basic tower, gun tower. All right, let's see if we can handcraft the rest of the iron we need. How many more do we need? Look at our quest book. Uh, crafting. What do I need? I need two more iron ingots. Let's do it. Gonna handcraft those. Iron ingots. One, two. That'll get us, I think, some uh, factory components or something. Boom. There we go. And iron ingots manually. Yeah, we get an extra drone or an extra smelter. Take it. And we can build those things too. We can build drones and smelters in our factory. Um, let's now get to automating the iron again. We've got this guy set up for copper. So let's do another little factory setup. Oh man, the scroll speed. I'll try and get that between episodes. It's not so fast. Um, I need a requester. Boom. I want you to bring me the iron now. Put that to two drones. And then we're going to do the same kind of thing. Factory smelter here. Boom. Um, if you want to see top down view, I think that's over here. The very bottom right of the screen, if I click view toggle, boom, now it's going to give me an overhead view. That might be a little, a little easier to line up your inserters and all that. Let's do that. I'm going to grab a grabber. Boom, boom. Set this guy to do the iron ingots for us. I'm going to grab a little bit more belt. Drag that. Click it. Uh, is that connected? Almost looks like it's not connected. Um, yeah, it's not really running through, is it? Um, will we see in a minute or not? This guy's complaining. Oh, nothing selected. I didn't do the um, select button here in the bottom right. Now we should see that kick on. I just want to stick around. I think it takes three ore per ingot. Is that going to make his way all the way through? Nope. 
Grab belt. Yeah, I can just kind of. Yeah. So we're good to go. We are good to go. We've got. It's not symmetric. I could move this up, but I'm not going to bother with it because we may be tearing this out later. But we've got copper, stone, and iron automated. At least the first stage of processing for those three automated. We completed a bunch of objectives in our quest book. In fact, we might have just completed another one. Craft 25 cut stone in an automated fashion. Gets us two more upgrade points. Plus a little bit of resource, plus a couple drones. Take it. What else? That's all good for now. Let's uh, spend those skill points and then we'll call it an episode. I want to spend these because I'll forget if I don't. Um, what's next? Uh, let's see. I want to, let's improve the firing rate. And let's increase the range on these by 1%. Boom. That's all spent. And I think we'll leave it there. I'm just going to hit save game. And next episode, we will move on to the next. Let's battle at Ralvitov and see what that's all about. It looks like we've got the same enemies, same two enemies, um, but it's going to be a different map. And so, yeah, next episode, we'll pick it up right there. Meanwhile, our factor will keep churning away. But yeah, that's it for this one. This is GlatterCat saying thanks so much for watching. Hope you enjoy this Let's Play on Project Astra Dominium. Like I said, I'll put the links in the description for the Discord and for the Steam page. This is a fully released game. I think it just released fully in January of 2024, if I'm not mistaken. Pretty cool. There's actually quite a lot to it. Um, and there's a bunch of stuff that we can kind of automate and craft. But yeah, that's our little first look. We'll pick it up next episode. Uh, with that, I want to thank GlatterCat patrons and channel members, and I will see you all in the next episode.